Welcome to the plus add-on tutorials. Today we're gonna to demonstrate tabs and tools widget. In the content tab, there are two options content and layout. First of all, let's talk about the content area. In that you have the multiple options. You can add new tab, you can manage tab by duplicating it, you can delete it, you have all the options. In a single content area, you have the option for the title, then you have the option for the content source. You can select the content or page template. In the content box, you can type any text over there or you can put the HTML content there. In the page template, you have the option for the Elementor default templates. You can create or use the previously added uh, templates here for create new template you just need to go to elementor and from the my templates in the my template go and add new from there you can add any section or page you can put the name and you can create the template once you use once you create that template you can use elementor inside and create your section which you can select from here we already built some sections here so this is in the development so you can change the sections like this and you will have your designs come into the tabs and tools then you have the layout option in which you can select it uh, horizontal or vertical then you can decide the default active tab if you decide the one the first one will be active and page will be initially loaded in the horizontal you have two options you can keep that on the top or in the bottom In the vertical, you have the option to make it right or make it left. Then on whole tab, when you enable this option, you have the option when you hover on any tab, you can change the location. Then if you disable it, it will be based on the click. In the style tab, you have the option for the icon we have used icon in this style so if you go to the style you have the icon option from there you can select the icon size you can increase or decrease size this one is you have the color option you have the active color option you have the spacing option the spacing will be between the icon and the title you have the spacing option for the response view as well and for the icon size you can make it a full width icon if you turn it off it will be like this but if you make it full width it will take 100 percent of your width then you have the option for the tab title bar you have the typography options you can increase or decrease the font size then you have all the other options related to typography and you have the navigation alignment option you can make it left center or right You have the navigation full width option as well. That means the navigation area will be in the full width. You have option of title on and off. You can just keep the icons by turning off the title. You have option for the title color, which will be for the normal and for the active. Then you have the tab title bar background option. For example, let's change the background color 
to green. And then you can adjust the fading. You can adjust the margin. And then you have all the available options. Like if you make it zero, then all will be connected. If you have something like this for the active, you can choose the different color. So in the tab title bar, you have all the color options. And there is box shadow options available as well. So you can select the box shadow. It's all the dimensions. You can so select box shadow for the active tab as well. So you can have both the tabs have different box shadow options. Then let's come to the navigation area background. A whole navigation area background. Let's select the background first of all. Something like this blue. Or let's make it black. So you can choose the navigation area background as well as you also have the margin space and the image fading options there. You also can put the border around that area. You have all the options of the border over here. For the border, you have the two color options for the normal and for the hover. For example, if you put the normal color as a green, you can see it here. Let me increase the width of that so you can see it easily then we have the hover color so you can see the effect we also have the box head option So you can change the box shadow for the navigation area background. You have these options in the navigation area background. Then it comes to content area where you can select the typography. For example, when we have the content, right now we are using the template for this particular thing. But in this example, we are using the content for that content you have all the options related to typography so if you want to increase the font you can do that and all the other options related to content you also have the color option and then it comes to content background in the content background you have the options for the margin fading so you can maintain the space Side and the outside using the margin then you have the border option from there you can select the border styling then you have the background option you can select the color or the gradient option you also have the box head option for the content area and you have the extra options in the extra options the first option is for the tab navigation responsive. In that, let me show you directly in the mobile. 
when we go to the mobile mode you can see the tabbing like this if you make it the full width I think we need to select that another option for example if we go into this tab and tools and in the extra option if you select full width that means the all section will come in the full width but when some tabs have a long titles or the long titles or the icons you cannot select this full width option you can select the one by one option in the one by one you can see the look change will and take effect with something like this then also you have the option to force accordion that means in the mobile device it will work like an accordion of course you can decrease the font size from this example you can see we can adjust the spacing and the everything right So these extra options are available for the mobile man only. In those options, you also have the box border, box shadow options for the normal and the active part. So and you can uh, select none to keep that navigation in responsive as it is, it is in the desktop version. So you have all the options for the responsive as well. You need to choose as per your needs and as per your design. If you have big margins and big paintings, you have to choose the force accordion or as per if you have a short titles, then you can go with the one by one and something like this. Then you have the option for the on scroll view animation. In the advanced step, you have the all options for the plus extras. You can see our separate video for the plus extras in the our channel so here here are all the options for the tabs and tools if you have any other questions write us on the comment box below or you can come to our support center we have our technical team over there to help you out hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial Subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this. Do check all related links in the description below. Thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites. See you in the next video.